But you have to pay attention to this. This has to be a part of your regime, a daily regime, to catch yourself when you get involved and bring yourself back. And what happens, like anything else in life, you retrain yourself because it brings you peace and joy. So naturally, your being is going to cooperate. Mm. But in the beginning, you, it may seem, you may feel like an effort, but you mm. got to put your attention on it in the beginning because naturally, we want to get pulled back into the thousand-year-old habit, which is identifying with the thoughts. So you catch yourself, you bring yourself back, and it's peaceful. Then again, something happens, you catch yourself, you bring yourself back here, here in this moment, here, right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, You're welcome. For your Thank patience, you. everyone. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I have a question here from Cecilia. Zarathustra, you had say some of the time that our thoughts are part of the collective. So if the thought is not mine, is this practice still valid or there is something different to do? Okay, this is a good question. One of our friends says that, uh, referring to one time I was saying that the thoughts that we have, they're part of the collective. So whether the thoughts that passing through our minds are part of the collective or not, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the bottom line is that by bringing our attention inwards towards the source of ourselves, we're going to have the same effect and same results that we're aiming at. The aim, the goal of this work is to be happy, to be in bliss. And it's impossible to be happy and to be in bliss if you engage with your thinking process and you believe your thinking process is real and the world of thoughts, because the world of the thoughts also has created the world that you're seeing. This world that we're looking at is a part of the world of thoughts, which where there is no thoughts, it also disappears. So we do the same thing. Whatever is the story, it doesn't matter. We keep bringing our attention inwards so some people may say, well, what do you mean bringing your attention inwards? I'm going to go over this one more time to make sure you understand it. I have a hard time bringing my attention inwards. I don't know what that is. Okay, make it very simple. Where, imagine, this is only in your imagination. You're following your thoughts, a string of thoughts. You go, you go back in, back in, back in. and you get to a place, let's say there's a, there's a pool, there's a lake, there's a straight lake, flat water, and you follow these thoughts back and it comes to this lake. So, and you dive into the lake and there's no thoughts, there's nothing. But above the lake, thought starts to appear. But inside the lake, there is nothing. There is no manufacturer. It doesn't manufacture anything. And it's silent. I'm just using this as an example. So what I'm saying is when you follow this string, the thread of your thoughts back to the origin, you will see there is no thoughts. It's quiet. Before you think, there is nothing. It's silence. No one ever told us that. No one ever educated us. And today, most spiritual teachings, they're promoting thoughts, manifesting with your thoughts, creating your reality, um, blah, blah, blah. It's fortifying the thoughts. 
So therefore you keep engaged in the world of the thoughts and suffering comes. We want to be free from thoughts. We want to go inward to that place which is always silent inside. It's peaceful, it's quiet. Ah, oh, you can relax. And that place is inside yourself. And to access it, you have to go beyond the thoughts. And to go beyond the thoughts, as I mentioned, you follow the stream of thoughts back to the source. That's one way you do. And then everything becomes quiet. Maybe you use a breathing exercise and you bring your attention on your breath. Maybe you're doing a mantra. Whatever works for you. But keep looking for this place. Bring your attention to this place. And know that this place, where the observer is, where the real you is, where silence is, it cannot be disturbed. It doesn't matter what happened. This place is permanent. It's always there. It's not a place you gain. If you gain it, you can also lose it. It's a place that is always there. You're just noticing this place. It's not something that you got from somewhere and you can lose it. You're simply becoming aware of this place, this ancient place that has always been within yourself. And now the Supreme Soul, the Creator, has created this situation for us to actively go in and find this place because this place wants to reveal itself to you. It wants you to find it. That's why it's created this scenario of what is going on in the world because it wants you to find it. And by finding it, you're going to become free. You become liberated. So it's all good. All of it is good. We're all in very good hands. Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, the Supreme Being, Lord God, is handling everything perfectly, is carrying all of us beautifully. You stay in your center, you stay in trust, you stay in this place. You trust God will take care of you. You give, you give this, your sense of control to God. Let God carry you. Let God take care of everything. And God will help you to recognize yourself. Everything is taken care of. You don't need to worry and freak out. It's taken care of. It's all is in good hands. Very good hands. I assure you. Love has brought us to this place to reveal itself to us. And it's happening. Many people are awakening all over the world. Many people beginning to really feel the truth of who they are and tabbing into their source, the source of love, discovering that we are the source. It's really coming from here from yourself, not the egoic person, not the sense of me. Oh, look at me, look at me. I'm not talking about that. The presence in the absence of thinking mind, your presence, your being. Okay. Thank you for joining me. Um, 
we're in a process of uh, putting out uh, three new online training training programs. One is how to feel, touch, and restore the auric field. That's already put out. The second one is um, 5D quantum awareness uh, teachings. And the episode one is ready and it's going to be on my website as well as uh, finished up an online training uh, course, which is uh, distant healing. So we have new products. Uh, feel free to visit my website, zaratustra.tv. Um, I haven't scheduled any workshops yet, but I will do it. Uh, our next academy is going to be next, two, uh, next Wednesday, same time. So I look forward to Seeing you all, sending you lots of love and light. Namaste.